Hey guys, welcome back. We're on problem N. I'm going to backtrack here and go over this one again because I think it's, it's, a, it's a tricky problem, but it gives me a chance to bring up something that you might not necessarily see on your cheat sheet. I know a lot of these are pretty random. Again, it's just really good for you to be exposed to them. So a solution of potassium iodide is electrolyzed. Electrolyzation happens in water. So we do have K plus and I minus, and we're actually going to bring in water into this case. HOH, it's a liquid. Now, an electric current is going to be run through this solution. And what ends up happening is um, <coughs> the iodide ion, this is going to be reduced, or actually oxidized to I2 minus. The hydrogen in here is going to be reduced to H2, zero, and the potassium is going to hook up with the hydroxide, and we're going to get K plus and OH minus. Notice the K is a spectator, so that's going to cancel completely. Now it's balanced. We have um, one I here, we got two I's here, we're going to split a two here. We got two H's, two H's, two H's, one O. Um, electrolyzation refers to uh, redox happening. Um, in this case, the I, 2I minus, went to I2, 0, so that was oxidized, and the H plus went to H2, 0, that was reduced. Okay, they want to know which electrode this happened on. We have two choices. We have the anode, and we have the cathode. And ox, red, cat so they want to know which one the gas would be released so we got iodine and we got a hydrogen which one has a greater chance of being a gas that's going to be hydrogen we definitely know hydrogen is a gas if you did not know that iodine is a liquid you can think about iodine solution that you might put on your hand or iodine crystals that i heated earlier in the year and we actually caused those to sublime going from a solid to a gas so hydrogen, in this case, is the gas. Let's see what happened to hydrogen. It was reduced, reduction, cathode. So this happens at the cathode. Moving on, O, a solution of copper to sulfate is electrolyzed using inert electrodes. Um, so let's go, get, let's go again and try and solve this problem um, using similar logic. Copper 2 sulfate, it's a solution, so it's going to be Cu2 plus plus OH minus. We're going to add that to water. Okay. Well, <coughs> we saw last time what happened was <coughs> actually, this is copper 2 sulfate. I apologize. Copper 2 sulfate 2 minus is electrolyzed using these electrodes. So, um, You know, I, I really am not sure how to explain this solution. I know that we do produce some H+, plus, which is what's going to make it acidic. Um, they show here some oxygen is being produced. It looks like oxygen is being reduced. I'm not quite sure what happens to the sulfate ions. I'm not going to try and go here and, and bullcrap my way through this one. So why don't you go ahead and just make a flashcard for this one, make a flashcard for the answer. P, a solution of ammonium sulfate is added to a saturated solution of barium hydroxide. All right, getting back to what we know. Ammonia sulfate. This should be ammonium. NH4 plus SO4 2 minus because it's a solution. Saturated solution of barium hydroxide. Okay. Barium hydroxide is a strong base, OH minus. Okay, I see ions everywhere. I'm going to be connecting and canceling. Okay, I'm going to make ammonium hydroxide and barium sulfate. In this case, barium sulfate is a precipitate, so it's going to stay together. And I'm going to make ammonium hydroxide and H4 plus OH minus. Now, ammonium hydroxide does kind of a similar thing that carbonic acid does. Carbonic acid always breaks into H2O and CO2. Well, ammonium hydroxide always breaks into NH3 and H2O. So instead of writing NH4OH, we could write NH3 
plus H2O. Um, in this case, we're really going to have no spectators. We're just going to have to have to go ahead and balance this reaction by putting a 2 here. I'm going to put a 2 in front of that. Um, and a 2 here. That should balance it. Okay. So what we learned from identify the precipitate. Well, that's going to be barium sulfate. And what we learned is just like H2CO3 always forms H2O and CO2, NH4OH always forms NH3 and H2. I know this is a little obscure. Just have that down in your notes. Not a problem. Thank you. A solution of copper two chloride is added to a solution of sodium sulfide. Again, copper two chloride, Cu2 plus, Cl minus is added to a solution of sodium sulfide, S2 minus. We see ions, so we're going to be connecting and canceling. Sodium chloride is aqueous. Copper sulfide is not. That's going to stay together. We're going to cancel our spectators. And should be left with Cu2 plus plus S2 minus goes to Cu S. This is a precipitate named spectator ions. Well, Cl was canceled and Na plus was canceled. These are the spectator ions. They're the ones that actually were canceled out. This is a really good problem. You can assume that I probably am going to ask you that problem on the test. Solutions of manganese 2 sulfate and ammonium sulfide are mixed. Manganese 2 sulfate, again, it says solutions, it's going to be broken into its ions, and ammonium sulfide, ammonium sulfide are mixed. I see ions, so I'm going to connect and cancel. <coughs> I make NH4 plus and SO4 2 minus those are soluble and it looks like ammonium and sulfide are insoluble I'm going to cancel my spectators and I have my overall reaction MN2 plus plus S2 minus goes to MNS list any precipitate that forms during this reaction or the precipitate is the one who participates the one that stays together, in that case, that's MNS. Manganese sulfide is the precipitate. Um, Ammonium-based compounds, most sulfates, are really not going to be the precipitate. If you guys are looking at some solubility rules, trans metals, those are usually the ones that are insoluble. Alkali metals, nitrates those are usually going to be the ones that are soluble these rules can guide you through 90 percent of the problems i'm going to stop here at r and we're going to pick up our pace on the next one i believe that's going to be vodcast number probably vodcast number four take care guys